ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, this is T-Unit, and we're back with Who's Next? The Six Star Experiment. And we've got my pick this week, Masters of the Universe Undertaker. What do they call him? The Glowing Phantom Phenom. Try to remember that one. Yep. And he's pretty old school here. Powerhouse only. Reduce the strength of opponents. Multiply protect and power gems by 35%. That was like a forgotten line of coaches. Those used to be clutch back in the day. He's got that Motu link. Some broken nothing links. Uh, modern era link. No gear. Bada boom. Uh, where's his moves? The Hell's Gate is the five star move. The Backbreaker is the six star move. And in this case, for the first time ever, I think I'm going to totally disregard the six-star move. Because these it's to choose six trap gems, and if you break them, they'll make one random X-break gem. Like That's a lot of work to get six X-break gems. Or nine if you're using gender, but um, that's a lot of work when you could just use this one and just get four of them anyways. So we're not going to use the backbreaker tonight. But I'm going to start out here with uh green green red glowing phantom falling power bomb seven charge green deal fifty-seven thousand damage choose four red gems glowing phantom gut buster nine charge red deal 50k damage make 10 botch into green glowing phantom last ride 11 charge green finisher deal 116k damage choose six rows of botch gems pin the opponent that's nearly the whole board nearly that's like some mark henry stuff right there <laughs> So, we got Steel for green move points. We got Chad Gable for 125% green finisher damage. We got Trickster Stacy, 50% botch gem damage. We got Zombie Rey Mysterio for uh, making two extra green gems. So, this will make 12 botch gems into green on the recycle. And when we look at the title, I'm, I'm buffing him out here. I went double takedown two. We're trying to hit as high damage as we can with that finisher right now. So I got 80% buff there. I got the Sheik plate on. So every time I activate a green move, I can increase my green move damage by 100% for two turns. So we can try to buff that up more. And we got 200% green move damage here. I got 11% green move damage here. I got 12% here. He is buffed to the gills on green move damage. And we're going to get out here against Triple H. And show you that it's still not really enough. Sounds like it's going to be great. I had super high hopes. He's, that's one of the best intros in the that game right really there. Is. Come on. That really is. Makes you want to build him. A little bit. All right. So we're going to choose red. And in the process, we kind of need to clip three green. We kind of, Or at least two. So next turn we can hit that. Oh, uh, boy. So, it's going to be a little thinking here. Oh, there we go. Check that out. You love to see it. Boom! Cascade. There it is. We're all full. 442,000 damage there. Not not super terrible for a, for a choose move. Half a milli. All right. So, we're ready here. Now, 709,000. After all that buffing, got a 709,000. And what we can do is just, boom, bot Gem City. Now, can we hold a pin? <laughs> he broke one gem there. There was five botch <laughs> gems and one real gem. Look at that. He's out. Yeah, that, that, that's it. That was what he did. Well, about that. <laughs> Oh, well, it's okay. It's okay. We're not done yet. So we're going to kick out. Now, the third move here, we use botch gems to turn into green. And that's going to refill that finisher for us, the potentially. Nope. There we go. Finisher's full. And 630,000 damage. And here we are. Back to the finisher. Six rows into botch gems. All right, nearly the full board again. Even closer than the first time to it. 
One gem. Did you see it? It was just the one in the middle. It was for 800,000 damage. And that broke him out. That's why it's impossible to hold pins in six-star matches. So, like, all the people with the protect gems kind of got messed up. We'll, we'll run this back. We'll run this back. I feel like I should be able to hold a pin here soon but we'll run it back and we'll put double armor on and we'll run protection instead of power and see if it helps us out any but now we're hitting a bad spot where we need some cascades oh that was uh that was clutch right there oh this guy should mangle me at this point what do you think t-unit Looks like they might have a different build for you to try. They got a different build? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, we we're definitely going to run that other purple, the purple, purple, green set next. I was kind of hoping in this match that he just we would get a, a, lucky, a lucky hold on a pin there, and it just hasn't yet. When I practiced, three out of the four matches that I tried this, I held them for a pin on the first try. Then you get into the video, and you can't hold nothing. But I had noticed this whole time, it's one gem kicks him out. He doesn't. It doesn't matter about, like, cascading. One literal gem will kick him out of this. Two. Got him! Okay, there it is. Okay. That's why I say he could beat anybody, because if they get a bad board, zero, zero, no matter who you are. Hmm. All right, so... We're going to go back out here again, and we will uh, we'll change the set a little bit. Okay, so I changed out. I put double armor on here. We got double armor set up, 106 green move damage there. We got some slightly lower values in the subcategories, and I haven't hit any moves yet, but my finisher's base now is only 372. We'll go ahead and hit the green move here. This will uh, activate it. Again, I'm not, not going to change any of those. Now we're at 488, but we got double armor on. I really don't think it's going to make much difference, if I'm being quite honest. Because now the, the value is lower that he has to break, even though the gems will do so. Again, that was one gem. If you slow it down, you'll see two zeros and one broken gem. And uh, that's all it took. And it's like you could swap all of that out and go double fury too and try to boost that red move there when it's breaking the green. Again, you'd be struggling to break a million damage. I don't think it's going to be that much. I'm going to try and do it one more time here. It's either, it's just a whole luck situation with this. Again, you could beat anybody at any time with this move. Or, they could break a gem and kick out. Zeros. And he's out. One gem. 500k damage there with double armor on. So, anybody who thought double armor was the way you had to do it, they're really exactly the same. And I'd rather use the takedown too, so I'm taking more damage off overall, so... This move set, it's got a thumbs down for me. But again, if you can hit that move and choose six rows, you could try to cheese him against somebody, like if you're trying to get a one time reward, and just keep running the match until you finally get to hold that pin, because eventually it, you'll hold the pin. So, yeah, we're going to see another move set. Okay, I did a full swap out. We got the purple moves in. So, we got the Glowem Phantom diving leg drop. We're choosing six green gems. The Glow and Phantom running dropkick, eight charge purple. We're going to choose four X break gems. Then we got the Hell's Gate finisher. Deal 125k damage, make five X break gems into green gems, and pin the opponent. So I feel like the other finisher is going to work better than this, but we're going to run this once just for the video. We got Woods, we got Gable. Uh, Gable, you know, for the green finisher damage. Now we got Santa Hogan. For all the gem damage and we got 25% X break damage here and an extra X break from Zombie Kane. Uh, I still have my double armor on here so we'll see how that works out. Maybe I should be running double fury 2 with this. I don't know but I feel like double armor 
for the last match is going to be best. But I need to rule this finisher out here. I need to rule this out that this isn't going to be the best way to run him. I feel like it's not. Because exactly like Ferg said, we could just use this move to break these anyways. And then hit the other finisher. But in this case, we'd want to use these to charge that. So let's just get that finisher charged. And then we can choose five X break gems. Put them down the middle. And then this turns the X break gems to green. Weird that it's a submission hold that's not actually a submission in the game, right? Isn't that weird? All right, 1.1 million. It's decent. That's harder than he hitting any of the other ones, right? Yeah, and that double armor didn't do nothing. It's definitely all about double fury, probably with this, but 400k plus we're hitting that again. Blow up the board. Got some cascades there. Your plate went off. 1.2 million. Yeah, so we're doing about a million a turn with this setup. We're actually going to we're gonna run this one out of here as soon as I can, and then we'll sub in that other finisher and see if that works better or not. The invisible hammer again. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I was excited for this one, and I thought this was gonna be uh, a really good video here, and it's just, I just feel like he's missing something, I don't know. Maybe this will be it right here. I mean, still though, you're still just trying to get lucky with the botch gems. I guess this would save time on what it was doing before. Because you're going to do more damage in between with breaking all them gems. But no submission, no stun. You only do so much damage. Maybe I should have put the Fury 2s on. I don't know. So we could choose five here. I'm going to keep putting them down the middle. We'll use this purple move here to turn them to green. Oh, that's why. It's already green. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And 938k. He's still going to swipe himself right out. Probably should fury that out. But when you're using botch gems, I feel like armor and botch gems go together like peas and carrots. So this is why I left double armor back on. Can we hold a pin here? Yeah, no. No, we can't. No, we can't. So it's a, it's a luck game. That's where I'm going to leave you with, with Motu Undertaker. It's a luck game. He's not putting out tremendous damage. He has no sub. He's got no way. Well, I guess this, this one might hit harder now because aren't I using... I don't have Stacy on no more, do I? Nope. So we don't got the botch gem boost that we used to have. Nope. We only have the boost on this. I feel like this would have been better to leave Stacy on instead of uh, Kane here. Zombie Kane for 25% X-Break gem damage. We have five X-Break gems. Look at all the botch gems we got that would have had a 40% boost had we had left Stacy on there. So... He's a mess. I'm just going to say it. I mean, he's not zombie AJ bad or anything like that, but he's kind of a mess. Yeah, he's not. I thought he was going to be, like, way better than Motu Triple H. Kind of liked Motu Triple H better. All right, we're going to try it. One, or can you hold a pin? Can you hold a pin? Oh, I didn't even see that red there. 
He's going to use it right here, Raj. Zero, zero. And he's out. One gem. <laughs> Took one gem. I can't do it no more. All right. I mean, maybe a five star or something may be good. Six star with the kickouts. This ain't it, Chief. Until next time, y'all. <laughs>